right, thank you, Steve. Well, a Fort Plain shelter shock after devastating flooding last month left families looking for places to stay. Police say that a homeless man lied his way into a shelter, failing to report that he was a sex offender. They have since found reason to believe that that same man had repeated sexual contact with a young victim in Fort Plain. Our Matt Mar Markham has more on this story live in our newsroom tonight and more on the charges this man is facing. Matt? Good evening, Dory. Someone at the shelter suspected David Dennis was a sex, a sex offender, even though he falsified documents to give no indication that he was. Dennis is also believed to have had contact with that victim in an abandoned home. Police revealed these details after Dennis's first arrest at the shelter. There's a lot of people there, uh, you know, a, a lot of emotions, a lot of, you know, kids that don't, don't understand what's going on. They don't have their toys, their home. Vicki Scrum spent time at the Harry Hogue Elementary School shelter when floodwaters tore through Fort Plain. Nearly 100 people relied on the shelter from that day, and so did a man who did not divulge to personnel what police have since, that David Dennis was a registered sex offender. The American Red Cross was on hand to help families and help them fill out paperwork to check a box and let us know if there's anything that they need to report to authorities before they come into the shelter. Um, and that's for any kind of a, an offense, like a, a sex offender offense. When someone suspected Dennis should be denied entry, shelter coordinators called the cops. The shelter manager took the correct action and, and brought it to the attention of the law enforcement authorities. Okay, so he was in there, I guess, for a short period of time? I, I, my understanding, it was a short period of time, um, just long enough for someone else to recognize him. Since his arrest, police report Dennis also victimized a 14-year-old girl in Fort Plain and had contact with her after breaking into an abandoned home. One man who was at the shelter and has a small child says despite Dennis's past or present, they should have let him in. It's a mercy. If someone needs help, Help him out. If the man filled in the boxes he should have, would he have been allowed in the shelter? What would that have been? Uh, that would have been a discussion that the shelter manager would have had with the local law enforcement of, uh, authorities, uh, and they would, really would have been up to them to decide. Yeah, but that could mean an individual was segregated from the general population at the shelter, or he wouldn't be allowed in at all. It's handled on a case-by-case -case basis. The Red Cross's obligation is to help and protect shelter residents, and if Dennis was determined to be a threat, then he would have been removed. Dennis now faces charges of rape, burglary, and endangering the welfare of a child. Police can't release a mugshot of Dennis to us or anybody else because they're still trying to get back on their feet. They're running the station out of a trailer since their main office was flooded. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.